April 19th, 2018. I'm Cody Hathaway. This is Pulsar. Tonight we are going to do a little review on the uh, CARAT program, Commercial Applications Research of Extraterrestrial Technology. Um, I managed to find two old articles from 2007 and then a few mentions of CARAT within two different books. Um, we're going to get over that. But overall, there isn't much background or um, documents or articles or really anything um, of carrot out there. It was uh, hard finding a lot of decent information, so I wanted to find the most, um, like kind of like the source and old things, and then any other mentions through sort of legitimate sources such as books. And I found two of those. Um, didn't really get to read the books, but just what I found um, through Google Books. And um, so, yeah, we're going to go with that. And um, it here, this is uh, the video we did last week on it. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, please go check it out. Um, I have it up on viewpulsar.com if you want to check that out as well. Um, haven't really been doing much with the website um, for a while, um, wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this, um, and thought I'd get into videos, and I wasn't sure about that, and finally made a decision on that, and uh, I'm going to kind of do a combination of the two, or at least try to, and see where it goes, but um, enjoy this video, and let's get to it on this uh, background of carrot here. <clears throat> so, right here, it's... Um, this is the document itself, the same one I reviewed. I'm um, just done a bunch of pictures, but this is from 2007. Mm -hmm. um, it's by the main person named Isaac from the Coast to Coast AM, um, rest in peace, um, Art Bell, who just passed away. And um, But this is uh, where this comes from. And um, this is what that Isaac uh, wrote in to Coast to Coast. <clears throat> if you uh, read over that real quick, it says he has information uh, that can explain a great deal of what is going on in the photos provided by Chad Rajman, the Lake Tahoe witness, as well as photos taken by Jenna and Ty in Big Base in California. Isaac states his alias, which is Isaac. Um, says he's an electrical engineer and he used to work with a program called Carrot. Um, Carrot went on the, uh, from what the documents say, it's in 1986, so it was probably going on within the 80s, maybe even 70s um, as well, and maybe even 90s. <clears throat> but um, he basically just explains what all it's going to be. That is, see here, I mean, this is why, just the photos, they look like something that would be taken in the 80s. So a research report, um, it looks like it was photocopied because uh, the way the document, the um, way it is in this form, the photo form, it looks like it was just straight photocopied out of a binder of some sort and um, there's a lot of blacked out things that they didn't want to get. That just makes me think that whoever wrote this up didn't want the public to see, period, after it was archived. Then here we have laying our alien, supposed alien source code that runs this anti-gravity device. Some components with alien language on the side here. Other components of the supposed drone or craft um, that they use to test. That's that. Same article. Um, more from the Isaac character, he wrote another thing for the uh, Coast to Coast AM, um, run by Art Bell, who was famous for the uh, Area 51 um, frantic caller, who uh, called in and um, claimed he was from Area 51, made some crazy prophecies about alien um, domination and whatnot of the Earth. Uh, that was pretty big. But um, anyways... So, uh, and I just gotta say, it's not, no surprise that he uh, received something like this. <clears throat> but anyways, reading through here, um, he said he's, you know, worked with many, many things regarding um, alien technology. 
and here see there's more reports because he talks about quarter 3 1985 the inventory review of that the document we have is quarter 4 of 1986 and um, I forget is it the inventory review research uh, no it's the whole research report okay at any rate um, you know, says up straight here the technology itself isn't ours, at least it wasn't in the 80s, saying, you know, we might have reverse engineered that in the meantime. Um, then here is very interesting. Um, it's where he says about the CARE program itself. It was started in 1984. It was uh, funded by the Department of Defense. It makes sense that the Department of Defense had their hands in NASA and all everything to do with space since the beginning of uh, space uh, exploration. They were deeply involved with the Apollo program, um, deeply involved with space shuttle missions. Um, There's strictly space shuttle missions that were Department of Defense funded only, very top secret, um, and God knows what they were doing up there. I mean, I'm sure it's for national security most of the times, but they say for Apollo 18, um, they say Apollo 17 was the last one, but there's a theory out there that Apollo 18 actually happened, and um, it was funded by the Department of Defense to go up there and recon alien activity on the moon, and didn't go so well, and supposedly, you know, we lost astronauts on the moon to aliens. Um, that's theory. There's a lot of things around that. They made a movie off of it. It's a pretty good movie if you want to watch it. It's called just Apollo 18. So it's not bad. It's pretty wild. It's pretty out there, but kind of makes sense. Especially reading all this stuff too. But if they say it was created in 1984, um, over here they say they made, they, um, no, never mind. I was, I, mean, I just misread that. I thought the, there was some precursor to it in 68 and 73, but. Um, it was just talking about the technological strides of Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is a mess in my opinion, today at least. But the Xerox Park has a research center. They say that was one of the models for the CARE program's first incarnation called the Carrot, Palo Alto Carrot Laboratory, the PACL. So, yeah. <laughs> and it does make sense it would be in Silicon Valley too, especially in that time when it was just starting out. I mean, this is just is, is a lot. If you guys want to read this, it's a bibliotech Pleiades, Bibliotech Pleiades, dot net, um, CNC slash CNC underscore flying objects 11 dot htm. Do you want that? You guys didn't talk about the technology. It, it's anti gravity technology. I go over it in the uh, video overviewing the report, my last video. Um, yeah, anti-gravity technology. Um, talk about the language, system of symbols. Um, as you see on the um, the components and the de device in the source code as well. Um, like, I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, there's a lot of detail here, and that's why I, I tend to believe a lot of this stuff because of how detailed it is and how much time it would take someone to really they'd have to have a hell of an imagination to write all this stuff I mean you gotta think about it like who's gonna spend their time and do this for no money with all this detail this whole imagination I mean like this you know, go be a writer somewhere for movies or shows or something video games like you sitting here like just writing out stuff on the internet if it ain't true with your 
very creative skills. Um, so he says he, uh, his collection is from 1984 to 1987. Um, so he burned them out. <clears throat> and I did not see this at first, see where this takes us. Uh, it just takes us back to the documents we already have. But yeah, I mean, this is the... This is the language, I'm sorry. I'm so baffled by a lot of this stuff, and you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm trying to believe it's true. Um, there's really no way to confirm it is, at least yet. It talks about how you can interpret the language and stuff. Um, it's crazy. I mean, here's the uh, another one. It's an it's an update, another update in 2007. This first article here was in June of 07. Kind of goes back over it. I mean, there's really not much there. Um, I guess it's just this Isaac guy again. So I don't know. I mean, who's Isaac? I mean, why can't we believe it? That's all I gotta say. And here's the books. Um, first one here, Above Top Secret by Jim Mars. Um, this is here. It comes up. I was searching for the, the acronym um, in full. It's full name. I wasn't searching just for carrot. But um, yeah, it comes up in here and it talks about British police forces, drone, the U.S. Army's MAV, and even that of the Robobugs. Pale significance when compared to yet another drone like device that also became public midway through 2007, the Carrot drone. Carrot previously was an abbreviation for commercial applications research for extraterrestrial technology program. According to one source, these drones are human built aircraft uh, based upon reverse engineered and alien technology. Now, from Isaac, that is not what it is. Isaac said what he worked on was technology was not theirs, but um, meaning the anti gravity device. So I'm sure, yeah, they reverse engineered the craft, um, but not necessarily the device itself. Um, yeah, I'm talking about Isaac here, and it, and there's actually a lot. I mean, there's a, a full page on it here just talks more about Isaac <clears throat> and that's above top secret by Jim Mars I'm sure it's a pretty good book the other one is set your phaser to stun by Steve Pierce and this talks about uh, here it says the difficulty arises as they study the acquired extraterrestrial technology at those highly secret locations called carrot Commercial applications research for extraterrestrial technology installations. Leaked information has come forward about one such facility called the Palo Alto Carrot Laboratory. Um, so, this book's obviously talking about that there's multiple and just seems to reference the one that was leaked. But, um, so supposedly there's more information about that within this book. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's really all I have on it. And like I said, there really wasn't too much information out there. I mean, it's in some books here. Um, I believe there's a couple others. And search more through the books here. Yeah, I mean, it comes up in a bunch. Commerce and Space Infrastructures Technology. Nah, never mind, I lied. Looks like it only comes up in those three. Yeah, the rest are just not words themselves. So yeah, I mean, if you judge on that, I I think it's pretty legit. Um, 
that Isaac. That's that's very interesting. The uh, Isaac character, and um, they make mention of it in three books here. So um, just keep asking questions. Um, we are lied to every day about aliens and ETs and UFOs. They visit us daily. They're constantly zipping in and out of our planet. Um, it's a lot deeper than you think. Look up, uh, look up and listen to people like Alex Collier, Len Caston, and Robert Dean. All three very interesting people. Also Phil Schneider. Phil Schneider, that story is nuts. Um, listen to them, watch their videos on YouTube, um, you'll be blown away, and they all seem very credible, they're all, they've never worked together, they all have very similar stories, and, um, they're just, it, they're all amazing people, and, um, rest in peace, Phil Schneider, um, he was murdered for what he was, uh, disclosing more than likely by the government so yeah everybody keep asking questions keep researching keep looking for information it's out there just gotta look have a good day